everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited. I have, oh my gosh, <laughs> we just rehearsed this too. Uh, Tiara, so simply Tiara here today. So thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you very much for having me. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for wanting to be part of this. It, like it warmed my day when you were like, can, can I be on here? And I'd be like, yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I just want to say congratulations. You're so close to 10,000 followers on Instagram too. Like, how does that feel to get that soon to that 10,000 K mark? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm, I, you know, I feel like it's kind of teasing me because I I've been kind of stuck at, um, nine, five for a while, Okay. but, but even I didn't even think that I would get to a thousand. Like when I first started my Instagram account, I didn't think I would get to a thousand. And the fact that I was able to reach that goal, I think within I think I got it like around four months or something of having my account and that blew me away. So every, everything since then has just been, you know, whipped cream and cherry and everything on top. So, right. How long have you been on Instagram for? Um, just over two and a half years. Of course I started when the pandemic happened. Yeah. So like, I think March, 2020. Okay. No, Hey, Hey, congrats. Um, I'm no, yes. January, 2021 is when I started and I, I'm, I'm just about 5,000. And again, I'm just like, that's so good. I'm like, guys, (laughs) uh, anyways, I want to hear all about you and your Sims history. Oh, well, I don't know where to start, Well, I guess. Okay. So uh, this is going to show my age a lot, but, um, you know, sometimes when I see people like, oh, I've been simming ever since, you know, the first one, this and that. And they're like, oh, I was only eight years old and I was playing and blah, blah. blah. And I'm just like, oh, cause I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> I was 14 when I started playing the Sims and it was the first one. And in fact, I think my dad even got like one of the kind of trial versions. I don't know because he was really tech savvy. Okay. And so he got me um, a version of the Sims before it officially was released. Oh, wow. And so, um, and then, you know, of course we got the, the real thing, but, um, I've been playing it since then. And in fact, I spent all summer before I started high school playing the Sims. Like that was it. Every day I woke up, I would email my best friend who is now currently my husband. <laughs> And I would talk to him on the phone and I would play the Sims. I would turn on the game. I remember the beginning. I used to always watch the beginning with all the little like house drops and all that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I used to watch that every single time and, you know, just play the game, talk to my future husband. (laughs) And that was it. Like that was my summer because I never really did anything or like went anywhere. I was just always home. Mm -hmm. So I played it all that summer. And then it was just, you know, something I always did in my free time, even after that. And I got the Sims two when I was in high school. Um, I used to play that like even after I graduated. And then I think, I don't remember exactly which year the Sims three came out, but I remember I played it for a little bit. And then like, I think I got pregnant with my first kid around that time. Mm -hmm. And then I just never played it because I was busy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I got the Sims four in, when it, when it first came out, but I had also just started college right after I got the Sims four. So okay. I didn't play it for like three or four years. And it, actually I like for one of my spring break times, mm-hmm. I spent that entire week playing the Sims four. And then after I graduated college, I kind of, you know, got back into a little bit more like gameplay and everything. I didn't actually start building or sharing any of the stuff I did until the pandemic happened. I got so. you. I, I I love that. Hey, yeah. there's no shame in the game. That's what I like about the Sims. We can start. We can start any age. I was ten when I started playing, but I like I didn't start playing to 03. So I think mm-hmm. the, I the original Sims was still, but Sims Four came out in 04, and I think Sims Three came out in 07, 08. Does that sound right? I so, think. I think it was oh well well I got pregnant in 05 so it had to have been unless I'm getting it mixed up with the sims 2 but I'm pretty sure I had the sims 2 in high school let's okay because what? I had I had like three expansion packs when I was in high school I had like hot date and nightlife and live in large is that from sims 2 or sims 1 
I don't even remember. I was going to say, I'm like, I have a couple. I, like, wait, I think that's Sims 2. Sims 3 came out in 09. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, okay. so maybe. Okay, so I think maybe I, I played Sims 3 after I had my second kid then. Oh, wow. I really thought that that was before I had my first kid. <laughs> that, that's, that's okay, because I was sitting there, I was like, when did, to me, I didn't play Sims 3 really at all, mm-hmm. just because yeah, I, I. I hardly did. I was in uh, high school, college, kind of in that mm. realm. So I was just like, I can't do this because I was on the cheer team. Like I wanted to be a professional dancer at the time. So I was yeah. five days a week. I was in the dance studio. So I didn't like really super have free time. I was like, wait, when did it come out though? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, which is crazy. But um, that makes what- sense then because if it came out in 09, because I had my, my second kid in 08. Yeah. So I didn't like get to play it at all then because, you know, I was busy. No, being a mom. of course. <laughs> kid. Okay. So, so what is your favorite rendition then of the Sims? Uh, definitely Sims 4. I have the to Sims say, 4. I think, yeah, I think just like the visual, like it looks so awesome, especially yes. with some, you know, um, screenshots and everything like that. Sometimes when I look at it, I think it's real almost like, you know, yes. depending on how some people like edit it and everything, it looks so real. So comparing that to like, especially the Sims three and everything in Sims two, I think I probably played the Sims two uh, the whole time I was pregnant with my daughter, because mm-hmm. that's the only thing I could do. Cause I, I had high risk pregnancies, okay. but, um, but you know, like when I, when I look at the Sims four compared to the sims 2 i'm just like wow like i don't even remember the sims 2 looking as bad as it does to me now when right? i used to play it. Yeah. i think it's because we had rose colored goggles on because yeah. compared to the original sims to sims 2 sims 2 was like holy shit look at the visuals they actually have faces yeah compared to the sims 1 <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I was going back through and i remember looking at cast and then the, like, they would just go like this in the cast video and their yes. eyes were always open. And, well, and then ugh. I know. And then the second one, they were standing in front of that brick wall with a mirror. Yeah. And I remember <laughs> being like, oh my God, look at that facial structure. Well, I was just blown away with the second one that you could change their outfits. Do you remember yeah. the first one was already set outfits yes. and all you could do was just change which outfit and like yep. the skin color and that's it. Yep. You change their hair their skin color and the outfit that was the only thing you could change exactly and, and it drove me crazy I, I couldn't stand it I, I swear all my sims look the same oh they <laughs> for sure one. did I mean yeah. I still have that problem in the sims 4 that all my sims still look oh. the same <laughs> <laughs> um speaking of the sims 4 um uh-huh. I'm, I'm sure we everyone knows um that Come October 18th, it is going to be free. The base game is going to be free for everybody. What are your thoughts about that? (sighs) Well, you know, I have mixed feelings about it because while I think it's, it's good considering we spend so much on the expansions and all that, Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm just, you know, and I'm, I'm glad that they gave us the kit for free, the new one. Um, but I feel like we should get something a little bit more for having paid for the original in the first place Mm -hmm. so and the fact that you know we you know some of us have had it ever since it first came out and I mean the base game was what 30 dollars was it 30 I don't know 20 30 dollars something like that right wasn't it uh um I got it for five bucks on origins when it was when when it was having one of their origins like 88 off percent sale but in Canada Mm -hmm. It is normally, I think, eighty five ninety nine for the base game. Holy crap! Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, well, I just remember thinking it was uh, like around thirty or forty dollars. I think when I got it, and um, and so I feel like while I appreciate the free kit, mm-hmm. it's only five dollars of my possible thirty or forty dollars I paid for it. You know what I'm saying? So it would be nice if maybe they gave us like the next four kits for free or if they have two or three stuff packs coming out like, hey, you've had the base game since before October 18th, you get it for free. You know what I'm saying? So um but I mean I, I guess it is what it is. I, I if anything it what makes me hopeful is that if they're giving out the sims 4 for free maybe that means that they won't be 
starting any kind of like Sims 5 anytime soon because I'm not down for that, honestly. I do not want a Sims 5. I've spent enough money on the Sims 4. Don't make me start from the beginning with Sims 5. <laughs> I don't want to buy another 50 packs for a different game. You know what I mean? So Oh my gosh. Okay, that's so funny because I was actually thinking the opposite thing. So really? um, yeah, so I, I so I work in corporate marketing. Um, uh-huh. I, I see this as a huge marketing ploy, getting people hooked on the first game. Like the, the rule of thumb in marketing oh. is don't sell the cows, sell the milk. So yeah. as soon as I saw that, I was like, so clearly they're, they're getting like the samplings of the base game. Cause it, like, per, like personally in my, like my opinion, the base game by itself is a great uh-huh. game. Like you get a lot of stuff, but you don't get the full value like, yeah. of this. Like the fact that we have to buy two, like a, so in Canada, they're 55 us, sorry, 55 Canadian each for expansions. You have to spend uh-huh. an extra $110 to get pets and weather to me seems like a lot. Mm, oh, okay. So did you yeah. see what I mean? Because you got to get the two packs, right? If you want weather and dogs. Yeah. So yeah. I, I feel like a lot of some of the stuff should just be in the yes. base game. So that's Already. how they're getting. Sure. I do appreciate that we are now going to have the ability to have um, anybody who wants to play the base game like that available. Like, because it's like very expensive to be a simmer. Like I've yes. easily spent like six, <laughs> 700 bucks on packs with, without yeah. a doubt. Um, mm-hmm. I actually now think Sims 5 is even closer around because basically mm-hmm. now I think this is them basically saying, I think Sims 4 is done. I think we've done everything we can. And so uh-huh. I, I truly think next month that they're going to announce. I think what we're going to see is what the Sims 5 logo is going to look like. Uh-huh. And what the plum bob looks like and a potential oh. quarter of when it's going to come out and yeah. potentially maybe the top of a sim's head so we can kind of see the visual of like what uh, like how it's different like how it's different i definitely think that is something that we are going to see i don't think mm-hmm. i think it's going to be next year's christmas game if i if i had oh, to guess no. and if it comes out <laughs> this christmas oh, no. don't buy uh-huh. the game don't yeah, buy it yeah. because it is way too rushed. I think yeah, I'm no. just the problem I'm having is EA is rushing out these packs and they are not mm-hmm. fixing them because all their like everything I'm seeing anytime I decide to go on Sims Twitter, which is just like nightmare fuel with fire at any good day, they're like yeah. EA <laughs> fix the kits, fix yeah. the patches. Why are you like why are you ignoring us? Just yeah. keep don't you're not fixing the problem you're just giving us content I just I felt like I kind of felt the same like I appreciate getting this kit Mm -hmm. um honestly I thought the kit already had come out just because I'm so disassociated anything with kits now I understand that they're for console players because Uh they can't have cc that's great oh I see but at the same time I'm like this is this is an eight dollar kit that I might use once. Like I yeah. just I just try to get kits now by winning them from other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or when I got really drunk at Christmas and I bought a kit. <laughs> I literally because yeah. I was like I don't buy kits blah, blah, blah. and I was at my fiance's family's house. So I have this rule of thumb: when you're at a parent's house, alcohol uh-huh. um, tastes better and you get drunker faster. <laughs> um, uh-huh. That was Christmas and I was drunk as a skunk. Um, mm-hmm. I usually try to keep my composure to the best that mm-hmm. I can, but I didn't that time. Oh, and I yeah. was just like, whatever. I was like, I just bought a cat. <laughs> and, like, and they're like, what? Like no one cares. So I wake up in the morning, Christmas sweater, hair extensions in my face, still mm-hmm. have my tights on. And I'm like, oh my God, like where, like, like how did I get here? Like, where am I? Just, and like, you turn to the <laughs> side and your laptop's next to it. <laughs> No, oh, no. I, I woke up and I, I, I woke up and I look at my photo. I'm like, what the fuck's this origins receipt? I'm like, oh, I, God. I'm like, and my fiance is like, good morning, honey. I'm like, yeah. oh, Merry Christmas. And he's like, do you remember what happened last night? That's never a good sign of my fiance. He's like, do you remember what happened? And I'm like, we were watching Christmas vacation. He's like, yeah, we as a family were watching Christmas vacation, but you were talking about the kit you bought and how awful it was going to be and how you were going to prove EA wrong that kits were yeah. right. So let, so let me tell you, did you prove them wrong? I'm like, yeah, I'm take like, that EA. Yeah, yeah, I take, just bought your kit. Yeah, take that. I just, I went into the oh corporate feed and like just bought it when yeah. I was drunk that's why on Amazon I had to get rid of the one click buy because Uh-oh. I would be drunk I'd be like yeah I need a back scratcher this would solve all my life problems <laughs> like I'm so oh, sure God. like how do I scratch yeah see 
that's true. that's a problem but i definitely feel like i i I don't think we'll see any more expansion packs. Um, mm-hmm. I think we will see one to two more game packs. Uh, yeah. Well, no more stuff. I think stuff mm. is done because they can just. Well, there's like 20 of them, isn't there? Like 20 stuff packs. I know, but I feel like, but I feel like they're going to release a hundred more kits before then. Oh. Like, I feel like, I feel like we're going to have a kit for like, here's a kit for i don't know stuffed animals yeah here's a kid and you get a kid and you get, you get a kid, kid. You right get a kid. Yeah. I, just, I don't know but any, anyways um let's talk about more um like packs so i know that you are an amazing uh builder and you like doing casts what packs do you think are really good for builders and what packs do you think are really good for casts oh my gosh <laughs> So no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay. So I, I already made a reel about the seasons pack um, mm-hmm. because I feel like that is a necessity for builders just to see your builds in different seasons, like mm-hmm. for no other reason, but just to see like autumn and winter. I freaking love that, especially for this time of year. Mm-hmm. Like it makes building so much more fun to me. Um, but aside from that, I would say... Maybe, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I feel like cats and dogs are really good for like coastal stuff. I love the coastal theme. Yes. Um, I love that world. Yes. Yes. And gosh, what else for builders? Oh my gosh. There's just, I don't know. There's so many, there's so many to choose from. It just really depends on what your, I guess what your interests are. Like for me, I try to build in so many different styles. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I need all the packs. I don't even care. You know what I mean? Because I want to be able to make fantasy themes or modern themes or traditional or mm-hmm. whatever the heck you want to think of. And so I do try to do a bunch of different stuff. So for that reason, like I, I can't say I, I would choose any one specific over another because I feel like they all kind of lean towards what I want to do anyway. Because even with um the Star Wars pack, how everyone's always like, oh, Star Wars, uh, this and that. Honestly, I don't really care about Star Wars. I've never really understood it because I don't like politics and just the whole political aspect of it just throws me off. But it has such good like um furniture for like industrial stuff mm-hmm. or steam or uh, not steampunk, um cyberpunk. That's what I'm trying to say. Cyberpunk stuff. Or even uh, I think the like landscaping stuff, like from Diva, those are really mm-hmm. good. So I feel like it's so worth it. So even the, you know, if you don't like Star Wars and stuff like that, like it's still a good pack, especially if you're a builder, in my opinion. And then um, it, you said for, for Cass also, right? Which yes. Means, huh. That's hard too. Because I, I mean, I, I definitely think that a lot of the packs are good for their hairstyles. Mm-hmm. If there's one gripe I have about the base game is this: some of the hairstyles are so funky. <laughs> it's like, I don't know who okayed some of those hairstyles, but they are just like, you know, like if you like for some of the hairstyles, when it, it looks like their hair is like yes. up here on their head. Yes. And I'm or just like, who does that? Yeah, or exactly. you know the one where it's like kind of curly, but it's off to the side, but like it's like out to here and then it goes thin. Yes. Who's, who's who's that for? Because it's it's not it's not for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or it just looks like so unnatural, like yes. a wig, but in a bad way, kind of yes. way. Because some wigs look amazing, but like mm-hmm. horrible. Like you got your toupee from the rat on the street. You know, what I'm saying like it just looks. I'm. I just. I don't know. I don't know who okayed those hairstyles. But please. Don't ever give us those ugly hairstyles again if they come out with The Sims 5 or anything like that. But um, yeah, so for Cass, I would say any of the packs that have good hairstyles are good. Um, and, hmm. you know, it, it's strange. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably horrible to answer this question just because I never look at what packs or like which mm. things are, are from which packs. I'm horrible with that. When, when people are like, oh, where'd you get that shirt? Or which pack is this from? Or those shoes? I'm like, fuck if I know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't pay attention to what packs I have, which ones. There's only sometimes 
just because I'll know specifically because I might have gotten the pack because I'm like, oh, I really like that hairstyle. Oh, I think that outfit's so cute. I want to get that pack because it has that. But other than that, I never pay attention to that stuff. It just, uh, I don't even know the names of things. Like if, when I'm building and stuff yep. and I'm looking for something specific, I don't even look at the names. I'm just like, what is that thing that looks like, you know, and I'm trying to imagine what it looks like in my head so I can look for the little icon as I'm scrolling through. I never know what they're called. So I can like just search it in the search bar. I don't know. Uh, that's <laughs> so funny you say that. So um, what I've actually now said, I have a list on my computer of the top 40 things I use because I can't ever remember the names. I'll be like, I want that bookshelf from that pack that has that books like, like this. Yeah. And I'll literally, I grab the name and I'm like, okay, it's called this. Anytime I have to find it, I just go to my, my, my Google doc sheet saying, mm-hmm. this is the item that I, I need to currently use. Cause I'll sit there and be like, yeah oh, it's not that yeah. one it's not that one what is it then like what is or I, I try to remember what objects are around it so I know yes. if I've gotten to a certain one I'm like oh I've passed it I've gone too far you know what I mean I, like if you've seen this thing then you've gone too far I have so. to do that for debugged that's literally how yeah, I do yeah. debugged because I, when I'm looking for certain things I'm like okay if I hit the rocks I have yeah. gone too far <laughs> I have to go back up and yeah. then I'm like Anyways, um, no, I, I do, I do agree with you with the build. Now the only pack that like super surprised me for building, which would have never made sense to me was uh-huh. the game pack stranger thing, strangerville, strangerville um, with the doors and the windows. Well, I think those are good for a Victorian build. Yes. I'm a very yeah. big Victorian build. Like I, I put those doors and windows, even if it's not a Victorian build, I use those yeah. doors and windows. But I think the thing is that those didn't belong in that world. I think that's what threw me for the loop. Oh, I see. Because yeah. I was like, because I remember, so I did a collab. It was one of my first ever collabs and it was a Pam and we did Bates Motel. And she okay. said to me, she's like, you need Stranger Thing, like Stranger Bell. And I was like, yeah. what? Like, I mean- no, I don't. Why do I, <laughs> why would I need that for this? Uh-huh. It's crazy. What, like, what, what are you talking about? She's like, no, you need the doors and windows. They're phenomenal. And I'm like, yeah, well, you see, so for my steampunk um, collab that I hosted earlier this year, yeah. we use Strangerville as the save file thing, because I feel like it's perfect for Victorian Western theme. Yes. And maybe that's where they decided to, you know, like make that happen because I really feel like I'm because you know, the, the Victorian era was like from what, 1836, like 1901, something like that. Something like that. And, yeah. yeah. So, and you know, and then like the, like Western, like Arizona, New Mexico, things like that, like how they have those kind of old ghost towns. Yeah. And so I feel like it's perfect for that because of the whole Victorian, you know, buildings and things like that during that time. And and moving west, <laughs> I guess, during the like industrial area. I yeah. never would have thought of that. Holy yeah. shit. Holy shit. You just like blew open my mind. Cause the, my really? whole, yeah, I, I, I didn't even, I don't like how I looked at that pack was just kind of like, like Vegas is how I've always looked. Like that's how I've always like, like an oh, alien okay. kind of driven area 51 is how I've always pictured that world. So I'm like, uh huh. Huh? I've been to Vegas a lot in my life. Mm -hmm. I don't see those doors in Vegas. Um, But no, (laughs) I, I I think, I think your answer is actually a hundred percent correct. And my brain just associates of like, yeah, no, this is, uh, (laughs) it's Vegas. Anyways, let's, let's talk about your builds. They are phenomenal. Um, That's the best way to put it. They, they are extremely detail oriented um, you, said, you said earlier that you like to build so many different styles of builds. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to now ask you the most impossible question, and I'm sure you'll now know what it is. What is your favorite type of build to build? Oh. No pressure. And if you need to do a top three, we can do a top three. Um, hmm. Well, I, I guess I would. Well, I love doing tiny homes. Okay. That's definitely for sure. I like that I don't have to. I don't feel so. Um, intimidated like Mm -hmm. furnishing and everything because it's such a small space so I definitely love doing tiny homes but I would probably say for like the style 
I might have the most fun with more, um, like, I guess, traditional type builds or like things that aren't so modern. Okay. I do try, you know, like throw modern ones in, in there and everything, but um, just for what I enjoy seeing myself, I love when things look more cozy and just like or more organic, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like just kind of like not so stiff, not so stiff or cold or anything like that. Yeah. And um uh yeah, I, I but at the same time I wouldn't say so much fantasy because I I don't really do like I've never really done um like vampire type stuff. I've only done one vampire build. I did it last year for Halloween, but um you know, I I just I, I just like, I like things to look realistic, like realistic, like uh worn in and just, you know what I mean? Like kind of like grandma's house type of thing yeah. or yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed that. So um yeah, I, I guess that's, I mean, I don't know exactly which kind of more traditional type of look I, I would say, but just something that looks real even though it's a game. <laughs> I, I totally, so. I totally get you. I'm a clutter queen. Anytime I build yeah. anything, I, I have to have clutter everywhere. I know you feel the same way. Now, what is your mm-hmm. favorite clutter to use when you're building? Oh, um, well, I always use those little books. Those, I don't even know what the heck they're called because I never look at names, <laughs> but I want to say, I think they're, they're like vintage books or something like that. Like the little sack of vintage books. Um, I think I use those a lot. I like to use, um, the candles, the ones that don't light, you know what I mean? Like yep. the little row of four candles. Um, oh, I like to use those like base things. I don't know if they're supposed to be urns. <laughs> but I think, I, I think they if might they be are, urns, oh but that's God. okay. If it, yeah. again, if it looks good. And it's uh-huh. grandma's ashes. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, or, you know, my Sims just have a bunch of dead people all over their house. So it just, but I like to use those. I think, you know, I just, I, th- what's ironic though, is I get so stressed out when it comes to cluttering stuff, because I don't like having to like move stuff out of the way and put it there and then move the furniture back. Like that irritates me. Okay. And, but at the same time, I don't, when I just like, put it you know like where it'll clip to it it irritates me when it's like not close enough to the wall so I'm like god dang it now I have to move the damn dresser and you know put the shit there and then put it back and it just it it drives me crazy but at the same time I'm I'm such a perfectionist that I'm just I'm like I have to I have to move it I have to do this you know because I want it to look a certain way and I always do this thing when I'm building that I'll you know like kind of go into um the cinematic camera mode Mm -hmm. and I'll go down to where I think I'll take a screenshot. I'm like, okay, I think I'll take my screenshot here when I'm ready. Oh, this doesn't look right. Let me move this around and move this around and move this around. So, and I do that and it takes me forever to like build because of that. And for that reason, I also don't really like to do a lot of large builds because it'll take me forever (laughs) to do that too. So, you know, it's just, like I get stressed out about it. And a lot of times I really have to force myself not to overthink it Mm -hmm. because I'll be, you know, like, Oh, I need it to be like this. I need to do, I need to do this and do that. I'm like, Tiara, no one's going to care. No one's going to look at it and be like, Oh, she should have moved that book more to the right. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I always have to tell myself, like, don't overthink it, just get it done. It'll be okay. You know? So I yeah. absolutely got you. But the, like, I think the problem is you're overthinking it is because you want it to be perfect. I can, yeah. I can speak for me um, when I'm doing Rose Chronicles and I'm doing a chapter and I'm setting up with what I like to call a scene. Uh-huh. I will be a, a psychopath and I will be like, I will make sure it's the exact way I, I, the exact position I have it, what's in the background. Well, now I just use Photoshop. So I just like remove anything that like, Oh, to be gone. But before yeah. I would sit there and be like, okay, there's something flying by or there's a car going by. Like this wouldn't make sense for this. And I would like, wait, like, but like, I would literally, okay. Like this, is this the right angle? Is like this the right angle? Oh my God. The hair mm-hmm. doesn't go right with this shot. If she, if her head's this way, like I would literally spend hours at the beginning of doing it. Now I'm just a pro at doing this stuff. Yeah. I mean, which is like what we talked about before is we've become really good at what we do. Like you're yeah. really good 
with like tiny homes and these like really intricate builds. Juby's really good at castles. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, even Aaron. Oh my gosh. Oh, my God. oh even Aaron. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Aaron. Okay. Like, yeah. I like to, I like to watch her videos just to see how she does the roofing. Cause like, cause I have a horrible time roofing. And right. I'm like, how would Aaron do it? <laughs> <Let me go laughs> <watch her video. laughs> I, I have seen so many videos and I'll, I'll watch the roofing. I'm like, I watched it. Yeah. Don't know yeah. how they did it. But then still- when I go try to do it, it still looks stupid. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. But oh yeah, my, oh totally. yeah. I uh, who was I talking to? You? I think it was Juby. I said in the interview, I'm like, hi, how do you get the roofs looking so nice? She's like, Yeah, boss, it's so simple. Box roof, box roof, box yeah. circle <laughs> roof. Like just uh-huh. literally just. <laughs> That's all just it is. Matching the shapes. It's just matching the, the shape, shape of the roof. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, but like, how do you get it? Look, like when I when I some like for, like I don't know about you, but every time I build, there's always like one roof that's like super long, but I don't realize it's super long because it looks really good. <laughs> and then you turn the camera, and it's like yeah. dangling Sticking over. Out. <laughs> yeah, like this is this is where the wall ends, and this yeah. is where the roof ends, and you're like. How yeah. did I how how did I how did I get here? You know, yeah. how did I get here in life traces? <laughs> but um no, that's awesome. Um when you start a build, because you, you build so many, is it all in your head? Like what do you use for inspiration? Well, I actually so I love to look at, of course, Pinterest for inspiration and everything, especially if I'm trying to do a certain style. Yeah. But what I like to do is instead of um, you know, like trying to copy any specific one house or build or anything like that. I look at all these different elements to all these different ones that I like, and I try mm-hmm. to combine them. So like, if I like the way, you know, um, the shape of this house looks, then I'll try to incorporate those shapes into like the facade of one of my builds. And like, maybe I like the colors from this house then I'll try to incorporate those colors into that same build or, you know, or like even the textures, like, oh, this wood house looks good. So let me make this part wood or, you know, stone or whatever the case is. So I like to just look at all these different ones and then use that and combine it into what I come up with. So. I, I love that. Like you just, you're so creative. I love that. <laughs> um, speaking of creativity, you've, po- you've been in parts of lots of collabs. Like yeah, every time yeah. I turn around, I'm like, girls and my girls in a collab I've been in a couple now and I'm just like uh-huh. yo I don't have a lot of time in my life to yeah. commit to collab I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna collab in October and I'm like yeah because okay. like I feel so intimidated because I'll be in clubs like these amazing builders and I'm like mm-hmm. yeah so here's the blog uh this is the best I can do yeah. um what does it feel like to be in a collab and also what is it like when you do your like tray files and save worlds I think that's what I refer to um oh the the save files save files yeah. thank you I was like <laughs> tray files save world that sounds that sounds like something that, that's those okay. sound like, yeah yeah, those sound yeah like you got words. it <laughs> um well actually so the the first collab that I was in was I think um the summer of 2020 and I was so nervous I was so nervous I was like oh god I'm gonna have the worst build of this whole thing they're gonna regret asking me to be in it but um you know it, it turned out pretty well and and then um, I think that's around the time that Erin first came in contact with me. Like she messaged me and she's like, oh, um, I'm doing a collab. Wait, which one was it? Oh my gosh. I can't even remember exactly which one. Oh, I think she, she was doing like, um, like a group kind of collab. It was her and Yali and someone else. I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. Um, but it was like the three of them hosting something together. And she mm-hmm. was like... Um, oh, you know, I'd really love if you could be a part of, of my collab for this year, uh, for Christmas and things like that. And I was like, oh yeah, of course, like count me in. And then, um, and then, so we, we started talking that way. And then for last year, for 2021, um, you know, I, I love because I, I have a degree in graphic design, but I don't have a job doing it. And so I told her anytime she needs like a logo or anything, just let me know. And I can, you know, practice my graphic design skills and so she she did she had me you know come on every collab with her to do that and um like kind of co-host with her and I loved it I thought it was really fun and everything I loved you know being in those things with her and especially um I, I'm not sure if you remember um Lost in Simland no. Alice 
well, she, she, she kind of um, dropped out of the community a little bit uh, when she moved and stuff. I think it was earlier this year or maybe the end of last year, but she did a couple of, she hosted a couple of collabs that we, Aaron and I were both in. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so, you know, like, I was like, man, I really like the way you guys host these things. And, um, you know, I wish I had the the guts to host one of my own. And, and, but Erin would tell me, she's like, you can do it, you know, just do it like this. And she, she even like taught me how to do save files. So I, didn't, I had no idea how to do save files. She like kind of talked me through it. And um, uh, I think she helped me even w- when I was trying to figure out how to send tray files. Mm-hmm. Um she was like, you know, use the importer and then do this and do that and everything. And so, um, like after, you know, talking with her and trying to figure out exactly what I should do, then that's when I was like, okay, I think I want to try to host my own collab and everything. And so that's what I did with the Malibu Barbie collab. That was my first collab I did this year. So I I finally got up the courage to do it. (laughs) I I saw that and I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. I had a black, I I was a huge Barbie girl. I mean, obviously blonde hair little blonde hair <laughs> kid I was like I like Barbie you, yeah. that was such a phenomenal club um Thank you. what was it like to host a club because I'm, I'm curious to see what yours is because I've hosted two I hosted two because <laughs> uh, uh-huh. I've been in some I'm like wait did I host that or is I just part why, yeah. why do I feel like it is three? Oh, come to me as I'm doing this but yes how how was <laughs> it like hosting a collab is super stressful, but it doesn't look like it from the outside in. Yeah. Did you feel I the mean, same it, way? It, it can be, especially because of, um, you know, the, the way uh, Aaron and I, when we do our collabs, we always, well, one, we, we want to make a safe file usually. So we have to assign people certain lots. So we always have them choose like their top three. And then we go in and assign them the lots to try to make it as fair as possible. Mm-hmm. And so that's usually the one that I have a harder time with, especially if like five people, their number one lot is the same lot. And I'm like, God dang it. Like I have to, you know, try to make it so that they all get something that they like, even if it's not their number one. Yeah. And so, um, so that that's usually the hard part there. And then another thing is, especially with the, um, the, was it four collabs I've already had come out this year? Um, a couple of times people dropped out at the last minute mm-hmm. or like, like there was one where it was literally like two days before the release. And I was like, Oh no. <laughs> like, so, you know, we had to like kind of scramble to like get a build done. Um, and then, um, it's another thing, I guess it's just, you know, like I, I just always try to make sure that everyone is comfortable doing, you know, whatever the, the mm-hmm. requirement is for the club. Like with my Malibu Barbie club, I really want it to be an eighties, early nineties theme. Mm-hmm. So while I wanted them, you know, to be like, you know, to have fun and, and, and enjoy like the whole process of making something look Barbie ish. I really wanted to emphasize, I want it to look eighties. I want it to look eighties, early nineties, you know, cause that's like my, you know, my ultimate Barbie stuff, because I was a kid. I was a kid in the 80s and 90s. And and so all my Barbies I had were 80s, 90s style. And I was like, I really want it to be, you know, that 80s, 90s film. So it's just, you know, trying to make sure that people knew coming into the club that this was going to be a kind of, you know, a decade specific type of thing and make sure that they're okay with it. So I think I think that's probably one of the harder parts, too, is just to make sure everyone knows what's re- what's asked of them you know like for the club and ensure that they're okay with it that they have enough time to do it like whenever I set up my clubs I always try to make sure there's at least two months for them to work on it mm-hmm. so they should anything come up they still have time to work on it yeah so okay I I like that and um what like anytime I post a club it's I've it's never been a safe world it's just mm-hmm. here's a theme post whatever you can yeah. Have a great day. Um, because I was sitting there, I was like, no, I have I have done three. My first one yeah. was a Sailor Moon. That was like that was a lot of fun. I did a lot yeah. of like because I had people saying, like, I like I don't build, like I do cast. I'm like, go nuts. And they're yeah. like, really? Yeah. I'm like, go nuts. And they're like, well, like, well, like, what if I want to make Sailor Moon? But like, I what, what if I make an outer senshi that, that doesn't exist? But like, like uh-huh. and they're going on the same star. I was like, excellent. You do you. Here's the yeah. release date, here's the graphics, whatever yeah. you want to make. On you. And then the second one was Harry Potter. 
Um, that one was also a lot of fun. Um, yeah. people were building like giant castles. I built, yeah. I built the dining hall, which took <laughs> me like, a, I want to say a year. Cause it felt like a year. It took me like uh-huh. two months a straight just mm-hmm. continuously. Cause I was like, I, I built it. Oh, I made these giant tables. I had foods. I had the floating candles. I had the floating pumpkins. Wow. I had, I had a lot of shit. Um, yeah. and then the, I was like, I didn't, I'm like, no Stoss. You hosted one this year, like two months ago. You clearly have, like, I hosted a Canada Day one with a bunch of ca- people from around the world hosting Canada, uh-huh. like Canada builds and stuff. I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. Uh, but I would, I always say this, I'm like, I'm never going to host another collab after <laughs> I'm never hosting one. I just don't got that time. I don't got that sweet, sweet time. Um, mm-hmm. Speaking of time, you've been on YouTube for a while now. What mm-hmm. is it like to, what have you noticed in the last little bit of difference between when you started Sims YouTube versus today? What, like, what differences have you seen? Um, hmm. Well, I think, uh, I feel like a lot more people do stop motion now mm-hmm. than before, but honestly, I just can't, I can't get behind, or like, I like watching them, but yes. to make it, <laughs> hell no. I just, I, I tried to make one, like one time, like a big, you know, like a full speed, speed build or like a full build stop motion thing. Yeah. I think I got to, I think I got like one floor done. Okay. It looks so stupid. I was like, nope, mm -mm, not for me. So the only like stop motion I'll do is just like a little room build. That's it. Uh, I I can't do. And some of the people that do it and it's so intricate and so many things. And like, they even have their little objects like moving to their spot. I don't know how the hell they do it, but it's amazing. Like, um, like Sharina, I think, um, I don't know how to say her name out loud, uh, for Instagram. Pazarina. Yeah. 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 Like she does amazing things. Even, um, uh, I said Maya, Maya makes Sims. I think she does stop motion also. Right. Yeah. She does. Like I I I can't even, uh, Simon, uh, I, I'm probably butchering these names. Tepissimo? Okay. Yeah. Tep, is it Tepissimo? Tepissimo, yeah. He does, yeah, he does some amazing stuff. I just can't. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they have the patience for it. Like, it's insane. <laughs> Seriously. I wish I could do that, but I just, I can't. So, you know, I stick to my speed builds and I don't get a lot of watch time. <laughs> but you know I mean it's what it is like I I I do I I sometimes I try to do voiceovers for a lot of my stuff but I'm gonna be honest I get stage fright like a mother like I I have the hardest time I have the hardest time recording my voiceovers the the little bit that you hear like I'll record you know maybe 10 minutes worth and I cut it down to five minutes because it's a lot of me stuttering my voice cracking just horrible shit like I'm telling you it's it sounds ridiculous even right now like doing this like knowing that I'm being recorded I'm trying to calm myself down and just think like it's just me and you yeah it's only us two We're, <laughs> I'm not talking from anyone else because I'll get nervous and my voice will start cracking and I'll start sweating it's just it's horrible I get terrible stage fright so well you could have yeah. fooled me you're yeah, so no. calm and collective <laughs> no. I'm like you're just you're just ready to go yeah, I love this. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. It, um, yeah, it's horrible. But I and sometimes I don't even um cut it in my voiceovers because it'll be like something I say that I think needs to be in the video. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I guess they're just gonna hear me sound like a 12 year old boy. So yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I you'll hear um okay. So like I, I used to like I used to do speed builds like more often and before I would um do podcasts every week. And because yeah. then I made it like I, I made a promise to myself. I was like yeah, no one's watching my speed builds because they're not actually that good. Uh, no one's watching my cast videos because they're not actually that good. People come for these. People come to watch Simmer yeah. Spotlights. I, I'm 100% mm-hmm. well aware. I wanted to do something different. I did something different. Yeah. Um, but I remember my, my first ever, because I, I had a failed Let's Play. I was right when Cottage Living comes out because my best friend, Rachel, um, at mm-hmm. the same time had just started her farm. And I thought okay. this would be so perfect if I could play her in The Sims living her farm dreams and in real life, she was having a farm. Yeah. Um, it, it was only two episodes because there's something about, because I, I 
I was I was per, I was given the pack, but because oh. the person I was giving it to me um, was not in North America, um, they had to give me CD keys. But it was kind of broken, and it's never really fixed itself. So the Cottage World Living Pack to me is still very broken. I I really don't use oh. it often. Um, mm-hmm. But anyways, so like Rachel in the game would just stand there for hours just doing this. Oh and she wouldn't move and the game would continuously that. freeze and i'd be like this yeah. is so awkward and i'd be like yeah guys so like well, let's play i remember being like what the first time of like hi guys i'm just here she's here she's like me like here's oh, and now God. i'm like yeah guys stoss welcome back it's years in the making it's fine we're yeah. talking about farts and poop but it's fine yeah been in the industry yeah, I, I think it, even if you go back to like some of my first uh speed builds like I sound so awkward because <laughs> I used to do this thing where I would I would edit my video right yeah. and I would try to watch my video while I was doing my voiceover yeah and I would try to talk along with what the heck I was doing and I was just like and then I'll be like oh because I you know my voice would crack or like I would mess up saying something and then I'm like damn it now I have to go and try to rewind where I was and then try to continue. And it was just, it was a hot mess. But, um, and, but not only that, like I would try to sound so proper and I would just be like, Oh, this is what I'm doing. You know, my deal. Blah, 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 blah. And now, so when I do my voiceovers, I really just like try to pretend I'm just shooting the shit with my friend. You know what I mean? I just yeah. try like, okay, on this video, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so, cause I always re- uh, record on my phone and okay. then I just like, send myself the recording and then input it into premiere pro and everything. But yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I, I just can't be bothered to do all that formal stuff anymore. It's just, it's not my thing. So I, <laughs> I a hundred percent got you. Um, again, mm-hmm. you fooled me. You sound cool and collective <laughs> on your speed builds. Oh I would have been God. like, she's got this. So, oh. which brings me to my next question. What advice could you give to anybody who wants to start their own Sims YouTube channel? Like, like anything, anything you maybe you wish you would have known before starting yours. Hmm. Man, that is a hard one. Um, I guess just, I guess, no the best way to record it's like less stress for you Mm -hmm. because um for for me when I first started doing my speed builds I didn't have I didn't use OBS or anything like that I would record in game like using uh like pressing V or whatever and it would only record in 15 minute intervals I don't know why I don't know how to change it but it would only record in 15 minute intervals. So I always had to make sure that I press record after it would stop. And then I would have to take all of those different files and it would take me hours to do a build. And I had to take all those different files and convert it from the way it was recorded in the game to um, to make it to where I could input it into Premiere Pro and then you know do all that. But um, yeah, I had no idea that OBS was a thing. So mm-hmm. definitely do your research on the best way to record if you're going to do speed builds. Because had I known, like I swear, I spent months just stressing about it because I would it, I would have so many videos to convert, and mm-hmm. then I'd have to put all of those videos into Premiere Pro, and it's just it was such a headache. So once I actually figured out that OBS was a thing and I figured out how to use it. Um, it made my life so much easier because I could just press record on OBS and, you know, stop it anytime I need to stop it. And I wouldn't have to worry about whether or not it was still recording, you know, every 15 minutes. So yeah, it, know how to do that, know which way to record. And then also um, if you're going to include screenshots, try to meet, be sure that the screenshots you take are like, good quality. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like uh, I know some of the the screenshots I first posted, especially on my Instagram were horrible. <laughs> they were so ugly because I didn't know how to take sh- uh, screenshots in game. When mm-hmm. I first started, I, I, the first picture, I don't know if you saw, in fact, I put it on my story today because somebody tagged me in the whole progressing yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And the first, the first picture I posted on Instagram was a picture I took with my phone mm-hmm. of my laptop. Yep. I took a picture like this of my laptop and then I just like, you know, cut off all the extra stuff 
and I posted it on Instagram and it looks horrible. So <laughs> know how to take screenshots and know the best way to record. I think those are definitely, I think it's definitely really good advice. It's actually so funny that you touched upon that. Um, I, I got the same uh, for the storytelling because I always say to anybody who reads the Rose Chronicles for the first uh, time, I'm like, hi, uh-huh. thank you so much for following me. Um, just so you know, the first 10 chapters, a little rough, didn't hundred percent know <laughs> what I was doing. Um, yeah. I know what I'm doing now. Um, <laughs> please bear with me. Um, if you can't read the font, let me know. I can send yeah. it to you. Um, and they're always like, oh, like it's it's so good and all that stuff. And like, yeah, you you definitely got better with editing. I think that's the time, right? Because yeah. like again, when you when you know your style, it just becomes like second nature and you're you're able, yeah. you're able to do stuff a little bit more. That's interesting that you that's how you do it. When I did any speed builds, I would just record my screen. Uh-huh. Um, cause I could go for two hours and then after the two oh. hours and then it would cut off and I put in premiere pro and just speed up. Yeah. Like I would literally just, just change it to like, I think I would do like 2000 or something like that. Take it down yeah. from a two hour video to like five mm-hmm. minutes. Yeah. The, and I just, for my speed builds now I do, I think times a thousand or yeah. whatever for the speed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'd be, like, I'd be like, hi guys, my name is Stassi. Okay. So like, I would literally sit there. I'm like, okay, so you can see that I'm moving really quickly and mm-hmm. uh, here's everything and ta-da, the end. And then I would just sit yeah. there I'm like, no one's watching this. So <laughs> why am I doing these? Yeah. Now, I, I started cutting out all the extra shit in mine. Like, yeah. cause before I used to keep, like, I would just have the whole file and I just speed up that whole thing, like a thousand or maybe yeah. even sometimes like 1500. Yeah. But now I actually like, I'll speed it up. But then I'll go through and I'll cut out all the extra, like me scrolling, like especially when I can't find something in debug, I cut out that whole thing. So, you know, it'll just be like all the like important pieces, I guess. And then, you know, and sometimes even like for like the cluttering stuff, I'm like, Mm -hmm. I'll just jump and I'm like, they don't need to see all me, you know, placing all this stuff, moving the stupid dresser out of the way and putting it back and everything. So, (laughs) Yeah, I, I've been trying to, you know, figure out ways to make it shorter and maybe make people want to watch it longer so that it's uh, more interesting for them. Yeah. I got, you. I got you. Um, well, I got a couple more questions for you, and I'm gonna let you go on your way. I know, I know this okay. is the prime of your 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 day late at yeah. night. I would already be asleep <laughs> by now. I I would be yeah. like snoring. Um, so mm-hmm. I, I I know you like doing a lot of. Ca- I've seen a lot of casts. So talk mm-hmm. to me. What is more stressful, a build or making a lookbook? Uh, I, well, definitely a build probably because mm-hmm. it takes me a long time to do a build. Um, for, for Cass, it actually really just depends on how quickly I can get, um, the likeness. Cause you know, I like to make celebrities or like popular characters, yeah. uh, movie characters and stuff. I like to make them into Sims. So it's really like the hardest part is getting the likeness of the actors because I don't use any custom content, mm-hmm. but when it comes to like doing the actual, uh, lookbook or anything like that. Like it doesn't take me a whole lot of time to do the screenshots. Um, I would say the longest part is just editing out the background for the yeah. lookbook out of their outfits. Like that's, okay. you know, as, aside from the getting the likeness of the character, it's just the editing out the background and like putting them, you know, on the, the heck I'm trying to say. I got you. I know what you mean. I, I, like I would always say like, like, like first and foremost, I was always a builder, but now I've kind of like switched myself to cast because uh-huh. I can do a full build, like, sorry, full cast in like two hours. Like, and it'd be oh, yeah. fully be done. Not oh, like, like, like one Sim or a whole like family of Sims? Oh, uh, just or? one Sim, one Sim, but oh, through okay. and through yeah. because like I'm, I used like, I'm t- like when I used to, I would go through and give everybody. So like, it's like, so let's say the one Sim they would mm-hmm. get five outfits each. So I would go every oh. day, five album, uh, outfits, active, five outfits, PJs, yeah. five. Like I would literally See, do that. Even with that, I only do one outfit for each. I I, I can't be bothered to do more than that. <laughs> I get so lazy with it. I got, I got you, but now I've built two hours and I'm like, okay, so I have just placed the foundation. Potentially every, all my houses have to have ponds. Even mm-hmm. if it doesn't, even if it doesn't make physically sense because it's a townhouse in the middle of the city, yeah. has to have a pond. Um, yeah. I'm like, I got the pond in there. I got some rocks and stuff. And then mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, that's been five and a half hours. That's great. <laughs> um, even though there's already a ready-made pond, right? That you just <laughs> <put it. laughs> yeah, exactly. That uh, I, I, yeah. I, got, I got to have my ducks. Every build mm-hmm. now, I also have to have bunnies on it. 
Again, Aww, middle yes. of a city doesn't yep, make sense. You got like, that trunk full of bunnies. Gotta have that bunnies. <laughs> gotta have my bunnies hopping around. Yeah, um, that's so funny. What advice would you give to anybody who wants to start building? Um, for building, mm, yeah, man, I don't just keep experimenting. Honestly, uh, I mean, I'm still learning how to do some things in in building and. Um, and if you, again, if you look at some of my first builds that I did, like, especially on my YouTube channel, if not my Instagram, Mm -hmm. it's kind of ugly. (laughs) It's kind of horrible. Um, I think the second build I did was a, um, like kind of Southwestern style home Mm -hmm. and the inside isn't terrible, but the outside looks pretty hideous. So, um, I would say, look at a lot of references, try to get a feel of, um, I guess the style that you're trying to capture Mm -hmm. and just experiment a lot with it. And if anything, try to recreate homes to get a feel for, you know, like the style of, you know, because, because a lot of houses have very similar structures. So, um, whether it's, you know, coastal or Victorian or whatever it is that you want to do, um, practice doing a bunch of them, like recreating them. And then once you have a handle on what shapes are popular or how things kind of connect better, you eventually will be able to do it without looking at references because Mm -hmm. you already know like, oh, Victorian houses usually have this wraparound porch. You usually have some kind of tower thing, you know, whatever the case is. And so, um, yeah, like once you get a better handle on how things look overall, you can create those things more yourself. Uh, I think that is definitely fantastic advice. Are there any cool um, collabs or anything that you want to share with us that you're currently working on? Now, please note, I know it's <laughs> September, but it's this is uh-huh. coming out in November. So you, ha- you can oh, it share. Oh, is? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, this cool. is coming out okay. in November. So you've got some time um, for anything that yeah. you're currently working on that you'd like to share when this comes out in November. Um. Well. That's funny because, uh, well, in November, I'll already have my Halloween collab out. So I'm sure everyone will will probably already know how that is. Uh, It's very small. Um, There's actually the smallest collab that I've uh, hosted this year. And um, and but the difference is because normally it's I we focus on builds only. And I just tell people you can do casts if you want. Mm -hmm. But this one is actually focused on doing casts and a build. Uh, because okay. there's only there's only five of us so oh, wow. um yeah because it's it's only for um forgotten hollow because you know uh, I, I like to make save files yeah. yeah so it's only for forgotten hollow there's only five lots so there's only five of us um but that will be out by the time this is by the time this comes out yep so um but other than that uh, I do have a holiday one um in the works already so like I said I like to give people at least two months in advance to work on things so since I knew I wanted something for you know the Christmas holidays I already have it working like everyone's already in but um I'm trying to make it so that it's not only for people who celebrate Christmas it's Mm -hmm. like a Christmas slash winter type yeah like a a holiday yeah just an overall holiday thing yeah so um yeah, so hopefully everyone enjoys that. Um, I'm sure it'll be coming out after this is released. So, you know, I hope everybody likes it, but we'll see. Well, I'm so excited to see your Halloween club. I think this year for Halloween, I'm going to make, uh, obviously, um, Hocus Pocus 2. I'm going to make all the witches. And oh, then yeah. I want to do like a classic trick or treat house. I think that's my, Ooh. I just like, just a cl- nothing spooky, just like a classic uh-huh. little, like some pumpkins and stuff. I just, yeah, kinda, yeah. I just get like a quick, like, like make like a very, like just a shell of a house kind of idea yeah. and just basically be like my house, but with decorations uh-huh. on the other. I think kind of, that's yeah. kind of like what I'm going for. Cause like last year I was like, I got to do like Harry Potter and like the Yeah. So last year I did Harry Potter and then I redid all of uh, Scooby-Doo. So I did, I made everybody, I made haunted houses, I made the hex girls, I made the villains and I did a pup named Scooby-Doo and I made their visit villains and then I made the pup from Scooby-Doo. I literally did all that and I'm like, how 
did I do that and still have time uh-huh. to live? Yeah, this year it's like, yeah, I get you get one house with some pumpkins out it. Yeah. Nothing, I think no, crazy. Every or one of my favorite things to watch it during the Halloween season is Scooby Doo in the Google School. That is my yes. fucking favorite. I it's love that so, movie so much. I love it too. It's so I mean, my good. kids watched it last year for the first time. I was like, you guys got to watch this. I think I bought it on Amazon Prime or something like that. So for sure, we will be watching that again this year. But I love that movie. I watched it every year for Halloween when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. For sure. I I actually just bought it at a thrift store. Like a, like a oh, DVD really? copy of it for three bucks. So if you ask, it's like, what is this? I'm like, it's the best Scooby-Doo movie. So yes. like my, my orders of Scooby-Doo movies, obviously Ghoul School. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Cyber Chase. I was obsessed with Cyber Chase. Do you remember I that one? That one. So Wait, what was that? So they. So this. Uh, um. 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 Uh, this lightning robot comes out of the computer and zaps them, and then they get to go in the computer and they go through different time periods trying to solve mysteries to get out. It is absolutely. I've never seen that. I have. Is watched- it like? Is it one of the newer ones? Because I haven't seen really a lot of the newer. It, it came out in like two thousand one. So. Oh yeah, that's probably why. I okay. think I, I think I stopped watching the Scooby Doo's like after the live actions came out. I got I got you. Um, I, I also, <laughs> I'm like total old school girl. I also super loved uh, Zombie Island because I'm the. I, oh yeah, that was all I good. keep saying is the 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 uh, the werewolves and the Sims are actually huh. the cat monsters from Scooby Doo Zombie <laughs> Island. I remember that. I remember that. I think I think when I used to babysit one of the kids, I I used to watch uh, would watch that movie. That's so funny. Yeah, because it's a cat monster. Yeah, it, it does look like <laughs> you know, these these are werewolves. I was just, oh I God. I can't even iterate how disappointed I was because uh-huh. I was at the around the same time that I was like when it was releasing, I had already done the Rose Chronicles because there's werewolves, right? So like they're like the werewolves mm-hmm. are actually fucking petrifying in the rose chronicles yeah but that is what a werewolf is and not cats <laughs> not furries yeah. and not cats yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> my fiance is like why are you playing with furries i'm like no honey <laughs> these are werewolves <laughs> yeah well you see i think i think that if they had made them look more like the lichens from underworld it would have been so much better yes i mean I, honestly i i still have yet to make a werewolf in game i have not made one yet um i mean i bought the pack like probably a couple of days after it came out but i've not made a werewolf yet um but i would have loved if they looked like the lichens from underworld i would have been like yes absolutely because i i would have made i would have made those damn lichens yes i know they look like that i would as well instead of it being like oh that's just a cat monster with a t-shirt on (laughs) anyway yeah i want to say it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much for coming here today why don't you tell everybody where we can find your amazing work um, well, on my Instagram, of course, just simply Tierra, very basic. Um, and also my YouTube channel, the same name, only it's a uh, capital S I M and then P L E E space Tierra, my name. Um, I am also on Reddit and Twitter, although I don't really go on there as much. I'm definitely not a fan of Twitter, so I'm hardly on there. Um, I also have a TikTok. Again, these are like all pretty much under the same name. Um, but I I pr- I pretty much put the same thing on my TikTok as I do on Instagram. Like all the reels that I make on TikTok, I usually share it to Instagram. So as long as you're following my Instagram, you pretty much get all of it. You get all the goods there. Um, however, I do have a Patreon, uh, which is what I make exclusive save files for because it's like pretty much commission projects mm-hmm. for my patrons. You know what I mean? To show how grateful I am for their support and their encouragement and everything like that. So I do have special save files that I make for my patrons only. Um, and again, under the same name, <laughs> but I have all of my uh, links in my link tree on Instagram. So guaranteed, if you follow me on Instagram, you have access to all my stuff. Yeah. Tara, Very easy. That is absolutely amazing. Please go follow my girl. The links are going to be below. Uh, I want to say again, thank you so much for coming here today. I had a blast talking to you. I knew I was going to have a blast yeah, this morning, too. but when you messaged me <laughs> yesterday, like, is this a plan? Are we going to go with the flow? I'm like, we're going with the flow, baby. Yeah. Where well, we're I, an interview I takes like us it. is where we go. But uh, anyways, yeah, for sure. thank you again so much for coming here today. Um, you're an extraordinary builder and I cannot wait to see uh, what the rest of the year holds for you. And I'm very excited to see your Halloween collab. Thank you. Thank you're you. very welcome. Well, have a great rest of your day, okay? Are right, you too. Okay. Enjoy your day today. Bye. Bye.